Hi viewers, welcome to Gunny SK YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create notched seating connection in Tecla structures. Just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with the US environment. Now we're going to create a beam. So click on steel and select this beam and pick the first position and second position to create the beam. Just like this. Okay, now we're going to create one more beam. So pick first position and pick the second position to create the beam just like this. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now we're going to edit this beam. So double click on this beam. Now we're going to change the position of this beam. So at the depth, let's take top front, then click on modify. Now we're going to go down four inches. So let's take here minus four inch, then click on modify. You can see now this beam of four inch down. Now we're going to change this color of this beam. So let's take class two, then click on modify and close it. Right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse, read view. Okay, now we're going to create views. So click on grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. Then click on create and OK. Now we're going to take elevation along grid three. So select this elevation on grid three and click on here. Just like this, you can see. Now this beam uh, four inch down from top of this bottom beam. So click on here window and select this 3D view. Okay, now we're going to create connection. So click on application and components. You can use the shortcut Control F and in the search bar type number nine. Now select this notched seating number nine component and pick the main part as a bottom beam and pick the secondary beam as a top beam. You can see we have the default connection and close this window. Right click on most interrupt. Click on space, right click on most view and use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point and you can use the mouse left key to rotate like this. You can see now we have the default connection just like this. Okay, now we're going to edit this connection as we required. So right click on most interrupt. Now double click on this connection. Okay, now we're going to change this connection length. So let's take here zero then click on modify and you can see now from here is it's a zero you can check in the elevation view now i'm going to create the notch connection at this location so let's take here one inch then click on modify then go to 3d view you can see now we have notch connection like this okay Go to the elevation along grid B, view list and select this elevation on B and click on here and remove this elevation 3 and close this window and go to elevation on B. You can see. Now we have this gap should be 1 inch according to this option. Uh, from edge of this beam, this plate was start uh, at 0, you can see. Now we need to maintain this connection plate up to at this location. So you can see now we have the option here from edge of this flange, bottom beam flange to edge of this plate. So now we're going to measure this uh, distance from here to uh, at this location. So go to edit and select this, scroll it down and select this measure and select the horizontal distance and zoom it and pick the edge point at here. If you're not getting the uh, snap, position at here then click on this option snap to geometry lines and then pick the point and pick the second position at here we require the connection plate up to at this location so click on here and select here the distance is 8 inches so we need to enter here 8 inch uh, to maintain this connection plate up to at this location so click on modify you can see now we have the connection plate uh, up to the notch from here to here okay now click on here and go to the 3d view zoom it right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse view you can see now we have the connection plate properly now go to parts tab and you can see now we can change the thickness of this plate let's take the plate thickness connection plate thickness off inch then click on modify select this component and then click on modify you can see now this connection plate thickness should be half inch. Now we're going to create the stiffness uh, for this bottom beam and the top beam at this location. So let's take the 
uh, stiffener thickness one fourth on both stiffeners and then click on modify you can see now we have the stiffeners at the top of this beam and bottom beam at this connection location you can see just like this okay right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse review you can see the connection like this okay now we're going to maintain the balls uh, sizes and bolt uh, edge distances so click on this bolt tab now we're going to take the bolt size of uh, 3 by 4 inch so click on here and select this 3 by 4 inch and uh, let's take the tolerance 1 16th and come to here it, this is this indicates the width, uh, width side of this connection plate so let's take the edge distance 2 inches the number of rows in this direction is the 2 and 3 inches and in the lengthwise you can see in this direction use the shortcut control 2 and select this component and then use the shortcut control 2 you can see in the lengthwise direction you can use from here let's take 3 inches and the number of of both 2 in lengthwise and enter the uh, distance between the two bolts let's take 3 inches then click on modify now I'm going to maintain this pitch distance so 4 inches so let's take 4 and remove this edge distance then click on modify you can see now the lengthwise the distance between the two bolts should be 4 inches and uh, in the widthwise 3 inches and edge distance 2 inches okay you can increase the plate thickness for example we're going to take the 4 inches in this direction also click on modify okay you can maintain the total uh, width of this plate 4 plus 2 6 7 8 inches width uh, from here let's take 8 inches click on modify uh, 8 inches is very huge so let's take 3 inch then click on modify you can see now this connection plate thickness should be 3 inches you can maintain similarly you can maintain the width of this uh, stiffener also for example we are going to increase the connection plate uh, let's take 3.5 inches then click on modify okay that's it that's more than enough you can increase the bolt spacing also here 3.5 inch then click on modify you can maintain like this okay then click on modify apply okay click on space right click on city review use the shortcut control 4 for this kind of view use shortcut control r and pick the position you can rotate like this okay that's it about how to create notch seating connection in tecla structures okay if you have any doubts please comment below if you like this video please like it and share it for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gunny sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can follow so many tech structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new videos so please click on subscribe okay thank you